Welcome back. Now let's take a look at an example of poor cable management and one way to better manage the cable by tidying things up. And I will also explain to you how we integrate non-enterprise equipment into an enterprise environment. And when I say non-enterprise, I mean things like Soho routers and uh, switch routers and things that you would typically find at home and how we integrate those things into our networks in the real world. And so let's get to it. Okay, we're back and here is a rack that I recently uh, repaired or cleaned up. And you can see here that it is a much neater. We have these nice waterfalls of cable coming down at the sides. And of course you notice that I used hook and loop, also known as Velcro, to keep all the cables bundled together. You don't necessarily need a cable comb to do this. You only need it to be uh, neat and tidy with how you gather the cables. And I did this while the network was up, so I did not turn off any of these devices or move them in any way. I simply cleaned up the cables and policed them as best I could. And notice when I did this, I also left a nice service loop. So I could have pulled these cables all the way tight and had them come right up the side of these rails, but it's a good idea to keep a nice service loop here when you do your cabling because if you have to move a piece of equipment uh, it, it helps so that you don't accidentally pull a device off of a shelf or tug hard on the RJ45 so that's what the loop is for it gives you a little bit of slack and in the real world not every single thing is racked and not necessarily every device is going to be enterprise level you can see here we have this simple little Soho router or switch uh, by Netgear. This is something you would find in your home, but one of the people here wanted to use this for their own private VLAN. Uh, so of course we allow it, um, we put it into service, and it's just fine. But as you can see, it is not enterprise gear. It is just very simple, and it just sits on top of this other device. And so that is a brief tour of the data center, also known as the MDF, main distribution frame. And that is how you properly cable. Now, if this had been brand new and I had been putting in all this equipment myself, uh, in other words, had it not been here before uh, I came to this particular center, I would not have placed it in this manner. I would have done so in a way where I could have used less cable and I would have had devices placed closer together. But this is an example of a proper cabling. And of course, you know what the improper cabling already looks like. It looks like more, and more like that. So we want to avoid this and we want to do more of this. And so that's it for this section.